Alrighty folks, so these are for the center caps for your 97-03 F-150 and 97-02 Expedition. This style here. This is a 7 inch, not on the 7, 7, 7 8, it's just a 7 inch uh, center cap. This here is an aftermarket, this here is an OEM Ford. And there's a difference between them. Well. Despite, you know, this one not being chrome. You could get them in chrome or this color. But anyway. The Ford one is a superior product. If you look at this metal retaining ring that holds your cap on. And these are very strong. They hardly bend at all. Just enough to get over the lug nut and to provide a secure clamping force. These are going to stay on and not fall off. Here's an aftermarket one. Look at the difference. Thinner metal. They bend easily. They don't provide the same clamping force. These ones will fall off. Um, everything else looks pretty much the same on them. It's just this metal ring. So, I would suggest if you have set of these and they're broken or nasty or something and you want to replace them with some nice chrome ones you can get these on Amazon or eBay I got them off of Amazon for $30 shipped to my door all four of them these metal rings just pry off I'd recommend prying this one off and if you still have the original one put that one on there and then when you're done because these will back off and fall off at some point Either when you have the ring off, you can apply some RTV between the plastic surface and this metal surface here. Some liquid nails, some two-part epoxy, whatever you like to use. And then it will secure the metal to the plastic. Some guy on YouTube shows a video of him using a nail to punch holes in the metal ring and then drilling a hole this side of the plastic and putting five rivets in it which I think is just absolutely ridiculous and just destroys the look of the cap there's no need for all that even if these little retaining plastic pieces are broken off on yours you still know where they're supposed to go like I say you can use a two-part epoxy uh, liquid nails whatever you want to use on it that's going to make a good bond just clean both surfaces. You may want to rough up the plastic surface a little bit with some sandpaper. Clean it down from rubbing alcohol or something. Put it together, let it dry, pop them on, you'll be good to go. Now with these ones, with these fingers that aren't as, um, they're just not as rigid as the OEM ones. Um, these are going to be a problem coming off no matter what you do. So I'd recommend bending these as far in as you can and try to get a secure connection but the problem with that is the more you bend on them you're going to put more force on these plastic pieces on the outside and they are eventually going to break off of there so um, there's really not a great solution to, to these aftermarket ones you can just apply a little dab of RTV to these pop them on your lug nuts let them dry I mean, it's kind of a piss-poor, half-assed solution, but if that's all you have, you know, that'll hold them on until your next 5,000 miles when you go to rotate your oils or whatever. They'll come off. You just put a little dab on there. Don't goop it on there. But I've been having quite the hard time getting these to stay on my wheels. They keep popping off, go around a corner, or just going down the road, they'll just fall off. They just don't grab well. For you that aren't familiar, the lug nuts actually have a little groove where these pop over and lock in. Like I say, this one is just so much stronger than metal, thicker metal, and that's a more positive groove in there. Anyways, it's about that. Now here they are in the vehicle here, so you know what they... You know, they fit all these different wheels, 16s and 17s, some of the steel wheels, some of the alloy wheels. They fit various Ford wheels from the 97 to 03. 
on both your F-150 and Expedition. I got these ones on there pretty good. I bent those tabs the best I could and I just applied three little dabs of RTV on three of the little retaining rings and popped them on so we'll see if they stay. Like I say, it's kind of a piss poor solution, but what are you going to do? Let me see if you can see. I don't want to pull it off because I just did that. But if you look in there, you can probably see that lug nut I'm talking about with the little shoulder on it. I mean, I, I just can't see if you've got a nice looking vehicle to drill holes in here and then use pop rivets. I mean, it would be a secure solution to keep the plastic to the retainer, but it, I mean, it's just going to look like shit on the process. I just can't see doing that. So, I wouldn't do it, but that's up to you guys. I mean, honestly, you can just go after your homeowner stuff. You can use any one of these products. It's going to hold them on there. You know, you can use your, your Loctite to, or whatever two-part epoxy you have. You know, you can go on your little RTV thing and, you know, use some RTV. Any any of this stuff's going to work to to secure that metal ring to the plastic. Anyways, hope this helps, helps someone out there.